Egyptian campaign. In 1798, Napoleon landed in Egypt with 35,000 soldiers. He had a plan. He would destroy the British trade route to India. First he captured the city of Alexandria. Then he crossed the desert with his soldiers. and moved toward Cairo. On the way, Mamluk cavalry attacked them. The Mamluks had swords and spears. The French had muskets and cannons. They were technologically advanced. Napoleon organized his army into five squares. They defeated the Mamluks in the Battle of the Pyramids. The French lost 30 men. Mamluks lost 5,000. After this victory, Napoleon led his army into Cairo. Soon after this victory, however, the British fleet destroyed the French fleet at the Egyptian coast. Napoleon and his soldiers were trapped in Egypt. They could not go back to France because they didn't have ships. Napoleon had brought with him 167 scientists from France. These scientists made discoveries and researches in Egypt. and wrote a large book description of Egypt. It consisted of 24 volumes. In 1799, Napoleon led his soldiers into Syria. He had a quick victory at Jaffa. The French killed thousands of people in the city. Then he attacked Accra. He besieged the city. Napoleon thought it would be a quick victory. I think it will be easy. Accra will surrender in two weeks. However, Jezza Pasha, a Turkish general, refused to surrender. The British fleet helped Jezza Pasha. Hundreds of French soldiers died. Many of them were killed in battle. Many others died because of a disease. Napoleon abandoned the siege and returned to Egypt. Okay guys, this is enough. Let's go back. It was a defeat. But Napoleon pretended to be victorious. No, we didn't lose. It was a victory. Accra was very important for Napoleon. Later, he said, if he had taken Accra, he would have destroyed the Ottoman Empire. If I had been able to take Accra, I would have made myself Emperor of the East, and I would have returned to Paris by way of Constantinople.
but he couldn't take Accra. So, he returned to Egypt. When Napoleon arrived in Egypt, he learnt that there was political chaos in France. People were unhappy with the government. Also, its enemies were attacking France and taking back its conquests. He knew that French people would welcome him. It was an opportunity. If I go to France now, people will support me and I can be the King of France. In August 1799, he left Egypt secretly. Don't tell anyone. This is a secret. He left the army behind. What happened to the French army in Egypt? At the Battle of Alexandria in 1801, the British defeated the French army. The French surrendered. They signed a treaty with the British. Then the French soldiers were carried back to France by the British fleet. So, the French occupation of Egypt ended in 1802. And Egypt was again an Ottoman territory.